Hello, sports fans. We are now two days away from the opening of the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang. I'm standing in the atrium of the CBC Broadcast Centre in downtown Toronto. And in this neck of the woods, the atrium is usually occupied by hosts and anchors from CBC Sports. And today is no exception. Look who it is. It is the face of our Winter Olympic coverage, Scott Russell. Hello, Scott. How are you? Hi, Rick. Great. And uh, listen, welcome to our coverage of the 23rd edition of the Olympic Winter Games in Pyeongchang, South Korea. This is technically my coverage. <laughs> Your coverage starts in two days. Listen, I'm going to be on seven hours a day, but you're welcome to the rest of the day. Seven hours a day you will be broadcasting. Absolutely. Can't uh, wait for that opportunity. So many sports to cover, so many Canadians involved. You know, when the Olympics come around, Canadians seem to warm to it. Okay, talk about our flag bearers. Who are they? Test of Virtue, Scott Moyer. First time in the history of the Canadian Olympic movement that two flag bearers, one man, one woman, carry it into the opening ceremony. I was really glad they were chosen. I was glad they were chosen too. Gender equity is a big theme at the mm -hmm. Games. And here I am on the ice with our champions, Tessa and Scott. Hello, how are you? Great, how are I'm you? I'm very excited. Why don't you show me something I can do? Bearing in mind that my skates are 11 minutes old. So, so just go on one foot. Yeah. Hold your arms strong and she will pretty much do it for you. That's the best part about ice dancing. Did you? Did he say my arms have to be strong? Yes. Not bad, not bad, oh, not bad. Good, good. <laughs> Nice dancer. Okay, okay, too close now. A big round of applause for the hometown hero of the Vandal Olympic Hopeful. I don't know if you know this, but I've taken part in many winter sports. Yes. In my capacity as a non-athlete, but the bobsled was one of the most exhilarating things I've ever done. Have you ever done it? I have done it once. I went down the run at uh, Canada Olympic Park in Calgary for the 1988 Games. Mm -hmm. uh, rocking and rolling, oh, 160 yeah. kilometers an hour. Kaylee Humphreys is spectacular. Twice the Olympic champion, trying to do what no Canadian's ever done, win three gold medals in a row. I'm excited, but I'm nervous because I don't think people understand how terrifying the bobsled is. How fast again? Um, it depends on what track. Every track around the world is different. How so fast is this track? This the one that I'm about to go on. Uh, you're going to go about 130 kilometers per hour. You're going to meet me I at the bottom. It is. Of course. I will okay. be there to see your face and what you think of it by the end. Thank you so much. That means, that means so much to me. You're Tell really me. Good. This is This is part of my fun. This is what I enjoy is... Torturing people. Kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're going to be facing the other way. Right. By the way. You know what? I didn't even do that on purpose. I'm actually... I'm hysterical. I'm hysterical. <laughs> I need a brown paper bag. Hi. Ow! Okay, that's good. Thank you so much. And loved it or what? Do it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> Good luck at the Olympics. Thank you. How long are you going to be there? I'm going to be there for 30 days, so I go at What's the What's the food like? The food? See, this is what I would be asking if I was going. Kimchi. That's all you need to know. Kimchi. Kimchi. Yeah. Pickled cabbage. That's right. That's the CBC Sports coverage will be powered by pickled cabbage. <laughs> That's good to know. Kaylee, I can't help but notice the place is crawling with Koreans. What? Where, where did all the Koreans come from? It, they came from Gangwon. Gangwon? Yeah, in, in South Korea. In Korea? Yes. And, and what's your name? Stephanie Baker. Stephanie Baker. Now, so what? This, this is an exchange program of it some is. sort? But whose idea was it to take people from Korea and put them in a bobsled and hurdle them down it's the They don't know what they're... <laughs> they have no idea. That's the whole point. Voluntarily, they just got themselves and they signed the waiver and then <laughs> there you go. Do you... Tell them what they're about to experience? I'm not allowed to. <laughs> What's the scariest thing you've ever had to do in your life? Oh, when I had to go to roller coaster um, at the Galaxy Land in Edmonton, West Edmonton Mall. Oh, I see. Now I've done that. And guess what? This is scarier. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> no need for translation. Yeah. <laughs> and look who it is, it's Kyle Nissen. Hello, Kyle. Hello. Kyle is a two-time Olympian freestyle aerials, correct, sir? That's right. Is this how you learned how to ski? This is actually the place where I learned how to ski. I grew up, I drive up here every weekend from Calgary. So we're not training here just because there's no snow. There's also an advantage to going in the water. Yeah, I You mean, can land on your head. Yeah, the, the risks of like serious injury here are a lot, lot lower. Oh. We're just gonna do this. I am so terrified. Look at him running. If I crash, do not put this on YouTube. Okay. I didn't fall on my head. That's a good day in Red Deer. How was that? The Russian judges. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. How'd I do? That's your best landing all day. <laughs> People of Red Deer, so very kind. Could you help me with my skis? I would love to. Thank you.